So today's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm really excited. My friend Mark Schaefer, who I actually spoke with in Scotland last year, uh, we both put out a book and we we're like, both of our books are like really perfect for someone who's building their personal brand. So today we're gonna go on Facebook Live and basically interview each other on the same live stream. I think it's gonna be really interesting. I don't think anyone's ever done this before. Uh, but his book is called Known and it is like the manual for building a personal brand and how you go from like Nobody knows who I am to like oh enough people know who I am to, for me to like do What I want to do in my career and in my life and that's what we talk about. So I think it's gonna be really fun What's up socials? Welcome to Facebook live. We're doing something really fun and interesting today I'm very excited to have a friend sitting alongside of me for this chat. I would like to welcome best-selling author of all the books, Mark Schaefer, including The Content Code, The Tao of Twitter, Born to Blog, and now Known. Known is out there too. How are you, Mark? I could not be better, especially at this moment sharing this virtual platform with you. We ended up having our books come out right around the same time. I love your book. I love you. your book. I, I love I your book. I almost, no, no, no. I love your book. And that kind of leads to my next question for you. You said, I have not embraced vulnerability. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a very, very interesting comment. Mm -hmm. So explain that. Talk a little bit about that. How much you give how much we should give, mm -hmm. and has that changed for you over time? To me, it was important to sort of address this concept of like be vulnerable because it's like, people just say that. And, and nobody has any idea what that really is supposed to mean because it's like, how far are you supposed to go with that really? Mm -hmm. And, and you, have to, you have to make that decision for yourself as a brand. And so I wanted to say that because as I was typing this whole thing, I was thinking, it just seems so weird to be like, just be open to this, be open to this kind of vulnerability of just, you know, being on camera. And at the same time, I'm thinking, although I have respected and embraced certain aspects of vulnerability, when I think about vulnerability on its own, just a thing that I'm supposed to embrace, I really haven't. And it's true, you know, I actually, I just, I want to be perfect. I want to get everything right. I want to be right about everything. I think these are all natural things that people feel. And I even remember, uh, I don't know why I think of this, but when I think of the type of person that I am and sort of the perfectionism that might happen sometimes, I think about when I took my first uh, driver's ed like time with the driver lady that she was supposed to teach me how to drive <laughs> and um, she did a fine job but you know obviously my first time I wasn't as good and I remember coming back and and my mom kind of coming out to the car and like meeting us and and she was like how did it go and and I was like oh I'm not uh, not that good yet. And the driver's ed lady was like, she's working on it. She needs some more hours, like whatever. And my mom was like, well, Amy wants to be good at everything right at the beginning. So that sounds about right. And, and I just remember, I remember that moment so vividly. I was like, do I really? And it's true. And so as I was writing that, I was thinking, how can I just sit here and, and tell people to embrace vulnerability? Like when in a lot of ways I have not. It's been a pretty productive day so far. I'm really excited because we finally booked our flight to San Diego. So there's a conference that is the biggest and most fun conference of the year for social media. It's called Social Media Marketing World. Both me and Vincenzo are speaking, so we finally got those flights. The thing that was holding us up on that is that I wanted to stay a little bit longer so we could go do some business in LA because I think I'm gonna be able to make some media stops there and hopefully looking to collaborate with some people and also 
do like a book tour stop because I know I have a lot of friends who maybe watch this show who are in Southern California and I wanted to basically do like a book meetup. So we're working on planning that. I'm really hoping something like that will pop up. Stay tuned for those details on like my Twitter and Instagram. But I definitely would like to go and make some videos with some cool people too. So I'm really pumped. We booked a couple days in LA and I think we're gonna be able to make that happen. I've been doing Whole30 for eight days. I don't know if I told you. And uh, I've done it before, but I wanted to hit the reset because man, we ate like crap during the book launch. But I feel so much more energized. I swear, when you stop eating food that isn't really food, your body like gets real excited about life. <laughs> I could really go for a taco though. Oh, and it's Tuesday. It's really funny. Yesterday I was I had to start recording my audiobook and I couldn't get my stupid Kindle version. To, I was trying to email it to my Kindle and it wouldn't go through. And I was like, it would be faster to buy my own book. So I bought it. And so I bought my own book and got it onto the Kindle and I was like reading it. And because I was reading the purchased version, I could see all of the highly highlighted things in the book. And um, the things that were being the high highlighted the most were those moments of me saying a little bit about vulnerability, but also like you're being vulnerable because you're talking to somebody who's vulnerable. And because you see them and you look at them, that makes the difference. And there's lots of tips and all kinds of stuff in there, but that's the stuff that's getting like, highlighted enough that it's showing up in the Kindle as one of the most highlighted lines of the book, etc. So I think that's I think that's a big point that you need to get across to these people because that's what's going to make them see the light on the fact that this is not about getting famous. This is about helping the 10, 20, 100 people that this is actually going to make a difference. Now I need to film a little contribution for the video creators TV collaboration. He asked me to be a part of a video. Hi, Tim. Hello, it is Wednesday now. It is a low makeup day. I don't have a whole lot going on, just some calls. I thought I'd let you listen into some of those, but here's something fun. I actually just got the updated Apple TV. I've been using the old ones and I'm like, mm, I don't like this. Everybody gets to download all these apps. And if you remember, the old Apple TVs don't let you download apps. You're stuck with whatever is on there. So there's not a whole lot of flexibility. I'm really glad that I just got it this weekend because there's all these announcements coming out and one of them being Facebook video on Apple TV. <laughs> so it like looks so cool. I'm gonna show you. <sighs> Let's watch this one. This is on my Facebook page. Oh my gosh, this could get addictive. Oh, here's one. Chris. Hi, Chris. It's funny because I actually challenge people to go and watch some of the earliest videos of some of the earliest creators on YouTube because I would argue that they were probably the most introverted people in the world. They weren't popular in school. They didn't have a lot of friends and they started talking to the internet because they didn't know what else to do. So they simply practiced much like myself once they got going and started learning to talk to a camera like it's a person because they discovered there were actually people watching that's where you really get good at video it's that talent level being built and that comes from practice Susie, it's so nice to have you back on the podcast it's been a minute it's good to be back bro like let's make this a weekly thing i know we really appreciate you not eating cereal right off the bat 
it's still early. It's still it early. Is. It is. Um, like I said, right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, you worded that perfectly. What's new with you, Boo? Oh, I have just been wanting to, first of all, chat with you. And we do this thing sometimes where we just get on the phone and chat yep. away and we call yep. it our podcast, but it's not a real podcast. <laughs> and then we always say, if only the public could hear what we're talking about. Always. Every time. Anyway, that's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I have some really fun videos coming up this month. I'm really pumped about. I've been bullet journaling them out, making big plans, and some fun travel coming up too. So it's gonna be a very interesting and fun March. Best March ever, right Luz? Stay tuned and go after what you want. How do you how do you get consistent? Because that's one big thing I think people do. They start it, you know. I'm going to start it, you know. what I mean, they, and they finally get it started, and things go well, and then a week goes by, two weeks go by, nothing else. So yeah. how do you stay consistent with the video? That's the thing. You have to keep that person in mind. You're not doing this for millions of impressions. Right. You're doing this for the first impression. 